Yo, yo, people, Wagwan. Welcome back to Run Stick Hub. And today I'm going to show you guys how to update the 8 bit do Pro 2 Bluetooth gamepad so that it works with the Nintendo Switch 2. Let's go. Step one go to Google and type in 8 bit do upgrade 2. It's going to be the first website that you see. This is in July 2025. You click on the first website, it's going to come up with this page here. You need to download the program that works for your operating system. So on the left hand side, we have Windows. On the right hand side, we have Mac OS. So because I have Windows, I'm going to download this one here. Simply click to download it and it's it's going to download a zipped folder. I'm going to go to my downloads folder on my system. Let me minimize this. So this is my downloads folder here. And we're going to have a folder called 8bitdo firmware updater underscore win dot zip for zip. You need to extract this. We can click on the extract all button here for Windows 11. And I believe on Windows 10, you have to right click to do extract all. So I'm just going to extract it. You can double click on it, extract it, do whatever you need to do. Just get it extracted. I'm going to extract here. When this window comes up, all I'm going to do is click on extract. Perfect. It's now been extracted. I have two folders again. Once I double click on this, it shows me a folder. I'm going to go into this again. It's going to show me some different programs here. I need to click on the one that says 8bit do firmware updater.exe. That's for executable. That's for Windows. When I double click on this, I'm going to get this program here come up on my screen. So you should get the same thing. It's saying that I need to plug my USB cable in. So all you need to do at this stage is to plug your USB cable in. You don't need to worry about pressing any button combination. Simply plug it in. That's what I'm going to do now. You might hear the connection sound. Once you plug the cable in, this is what you'll see. So all you need to do at this stage is to update it. Currently I have version 3.05 and I'm gonna to update to 3.06. So I click update and simply wait. Update completed. Now I can close this program. I'm gonna unplug my controller. Then I can simply go ahead and now connect it to my Nintendo Switch 2 and everything works as it should. Thank you for watching, stay tuned.